Welcome to the Hebrew month of Iyar. Iyar is a very special month. This is a month God wants you to know him in a new way. The month of Iyar is a month of understanding the secrets of God. Psalm 25 verse 14 says, The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Friendship with God is like any other friendship. You have to make time for it. If you don't make time for your human friends, they're not your friends. You make time for your friends. And if God is going to be your best friend, you've got to give him your best time to him. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God in Psalm 46, verse 10. You need to have a daily quiet time with God. You have to be still so that you can know him better. Psalm 25, verse 14 in the New Living Bible says, Friendship with God is reserved for those who reverence him. With them alone, he shares the secrets of his promise. Many people don't know God. They haven't experienced God's love. They don't know why he does what he does. Yet the Bible says that friendship with God is reserved for those who reverence him. In other words, those who slow down and spend time with him. Matthew 13, verses 10 and 11, Jesus said to them, Because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Iyar is the second month of the Hebrew year. The Hebrew letter associated with Iyar is Vav, which means to link together. If you move correctly this month, you, the year begins to connect together, and the whole year moves as God intended. The tribe associated with Iyar is Issachar. Ayer is a month to understand God's secrets. Ayer is a month for God to reveal his secrets to you. God does have secrets. How many of you know that? Some secrets belong to God alone. The very first verse that God ever quickened to my spirit was Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. The first portion of it says that the secret things belong to the Lord our God. There are some things God, about God that you will never know. However, there are other things that he chooses to reveal. The verse goes on to say that but those things which are revealed belong to us and our children forever. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 1 says, We have been entrusted with God's mysteries. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. There are things about God that you need to know if you're going to prosper and succeed in life and fulfill your destiny. What is a secret? It's something that is concealed from the knowledge of all persons except for the individuals or individuals concerned. It is something not known or seen or not meant to be known or seen by others. In the Bible, secrets are called mysteries. They can be defined as the secret counsel of the king. A king doesn't just tell everybody his plans. In the Bible, a mystery is a truth that can't be discovered by our own reasoning. It can only be known by revelation from God. Usually, in the Bible, a mystery is something so incredible, it typically creates a sense of wonder or amazement. Have you ever felt learned something about God that has amazed you? There are lots of mysteries in the Bible that God has revealed. God's whole plan for our salvation is a mystery. Ephesians 6 verse 19. God coming to earth to live as a man was a mystery. 1 Timothy 3 verse 16. The union of Jews and Gentiles living in one body is a mystery. Ephesians chapter 3. The fact that Gentiles share in Israel's blessing is a mystery. There are over thousands of promises given to Israel in the Old Testament that are now available to Gentiles. The fact of the resurrection for believers is a mystery. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Israel's full and final restoration, where all of Israel will be saved, is a mystery. Romans 11 verse 25. The fact that Jesus will rule over all of the creation as Lord is a mystery in Ephesians 1, verse 9 through 10. And the union of man and woman in marriage 
being a type of the church, is a mystery. Ephesians 5, verse 31 and 32. And finally, Jesus living inside of us through his Holy Spirit is a mystery. Colossians 1, verse 27. He is always present with you. Now, why does God have secrets? Why mysteries? The first reason that God has secrets is to conceal the truth from the enemy. In 1 Corinthians 2 and 7 and 8, it says, But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Satan never understood what was going on while Jesus was on the earth. If he had, he never would have had him crucified. The second reason why God has secrets is that our minds are limited. The truth of what God is like will not fit within our brain. God doesn't want us to spend our lives speculating over things we're not going to understand. There are some things he just doesn't tell us. If God was something we could understand, he wouldn't be God. And third is that sometimes he just wants to surprise us with his goodness. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 7 through 9 says, But we speak the secret wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. God has several kinds of secrets. They're secrets of the kingdom. Again, Matthew 13, verse 11, because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. There are hidden principles of how to live in God's universe. There are secrets on how to live in God's favor. Isaiah 61, Jesus came with good news for the poor, the brokenhearted, the captive, and the bound. Jesus wants to open those secrets to you so that you can walk in his favor. You don't have to stay in poverty. You don't need to remain brokenhearted. You don't need to remain captive, and you can be loosed from the bonds of the enemy. It says that the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of the vengeance of our God, to comfort all those who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that we might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. God has revealed his secrets to set us free. There are secrets of the covenant. There are secrets he revealed only to those who are in covenant relationship with him. There are a whole set of names that reveal his secret covenant identity. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides, the God who meets every need. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer, the God who heals all of our diseases. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner, the God who always makes a way for us to triumph. If you are in covenant with him, he wants to reveal his covenant nature to you. The key verse about the covenant is in Psalm 25, verse 14. The New American Standard Bible says that the secret of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will make them know his covenant. The New Living Translation says, The Lord is a friend to those who fear him. He teaches them his covenant. IR is a month for covenant secrets. IR is also a transition month. Last month, Nisan, was the month where Israel started out from Egypt. Next month is Savan, where Israel arrived at Mount Sinai, and on Pentecost, Torah was given. <coughs> However, during Iyar, as they journey, God revealed himself to them. In Egypt, Israel knew about him through oral histories. They knew little of, what, they knew little of the God who delivered them. They had no written word. As they journeyed towards Mount Sinai, God revealed himself through his covenant names. 
First of all, in Exodus 15, verse 26, God said, If you will diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all of his statutes, I will put none of these diseases on, which, on you, which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. God revealed himself as Jehovah Rapha. Next, in Exodus 16, verse 15, God revealed himself as Jehovah Jireh. They were out of food, and God provided manna and quail for them. In the giving of the quail and the manna, God had revealed another covenant secret. He was Jehovah Jireh, the God who sees and the, your need and provides. Third, God revealed himself to the people as Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. While they were fighting Amalek, Moses was holding his hands up during the battle. And God revealed a third covenant secret. Praise is the key to victory. All of these events occurred in the month of Iyar. God reconfirmed his covenant at Passover in the first month, so that he can reveal the secrets of his covenant in the second month, so he can bring you into a whole new level of Pentecost in the third month. So how do we learn God's covenant secrets? It says in Daniel 2, verse 22, that he reveals his secrets to those who seek him. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, and light dwells with him. He reveals secrets to his people. Again, Matthew 13, verse 11, because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, God has already granted it. And in James 1, verse 5, it says that if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally. He wants you to seek after him. He wants you to actively pursue him. He wants you to press into him. This month, God will give an extra blessing to those who set their hearts on seeking him. Proverbs 8, verse 17 says, Those who seek me diligently will find me. God is going to reveal his secrets of his covenant. Ask him to reveal secrets of his covenant this month. Ask him to reveal himself as your healer. Say, healing is a covenant right. It belongs to me. Ask him to reveal himself as your provider. Provision is a covenant right. It belongs to me. And ask him to reveal himself as your banner. Say, victory is a covenant right. It belongs to me. Let him reveal himself at a level of covenant you have never experienced before. There's one final thing we need to know about Ayar. In Hebrew, the letters I-Y-A-R form an acrostic, which is a poem or word puzzle in which certain letters of each letter form a word or words. They spell out the promise that God gave in Exodus 15, verse 26. I am the Lord, your healer. Ayar is a month of healing. He doesn't just want you to know in your mind that he is Jehovah Rapha. He doesn't just want you to know in your understanding he is your healing. He wants you to press in and experience his healing power in your life this month. Believe God for your healing this month, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Ayar is a time of dealing with the soul, a time to look and observe introspectively, to find a place of improvement so strength manifests. Believe God to heal your total being this month. God is going to do special miracles this month. I believe that with all of my heart. My prayer for you this month is from Philippians, that you may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death if by any means you may attain to the resurrection from the dead. A couple of months ago, we started praying through the prayer points from the First Fruits teaching. I'm going to share those again with you today, and I'd ask that you pray through these prayer points this month. Um, if you can't get them copied down from this, uh, you can get in touch with me, and I can email or text them to you. 
But I believe fully that God wants us to pray through these each month so that we become fully, fully uh, engulfed in them so that we can make them a part of our daily life through this month of IR. The first prayer point for the month is God wants you to know him in a new way. Second, you have to be still so that you can know him even better. Third, it's a time to be linked together. Fourth, IR is a month for God to reveal his secrets. I believe that he is going to give wisdom and revelation to people this month about how we're supposed to come through this COVID-19 experience, what the church is supposed to look like coming out of this. I believe that God wants to reveal those secrets to us of what he wants the church to become. Next, God has revealed secrets, secrets to set us free. I believe that IR is meant to be a month of freedom. Sixth, IR is a transition month. We are going from one level to another level. And God is going to open up those things to us that we need to do to transition from one period to a new time period. Seventh, he reveals his secrets to those who seek him. I'm asking you this month to set apart time each day to seek him. Not just for who he is, not just for what he gives, but for who he is. That we might know him in a more full way than we have in the past. And finally, IR is a month of healing. I believe that God wants to bring healing to us. He wants us to know him as the healer. He wants to heal us physically, spiritually, emotionally. He wants us to be set completely free so that we can do the work of the kingdom. In Jesus' name, I pray this. Amen.